What's up, YouTube? Tapping in as market comes to a close. Guys, we got Monday in the books, which means we got our first day to get back in our bag and do what we do, guys. Hey, listen, man. Today, I want to make sure that I get us off on the right foot. We got our first set of earnings that has came through. We also have some news from the Elon Musk deal that, again, has just shaken up the stock market. As you guys have seen, the markets has rallied into close. And so on that note, guys, I want to talk all about it. But before we do that, major salute to everybody that did their thing on today. I'm going to go ahead and share one of the receipts on today from just you guys already kicking off the week on the right note. But listen, guys, the market it was a tale of two markets, okay? And this is why I often say, get in and get out. Don't overstay your welcome, okay? When you see profit, take profit, okay? When you see profit, take profit. And this is meant for my option traders, okay? Listen, guys, this morning, plays went down. And so if you were doing puts, you had a chance to print tendies, okay? And you have to sometimes anticipate that you know what? I got to be content with what I'm doing right here, right now, okay? Because there's a long day ahead of us. And sure enough, today, the second half of the day, the market found a little groove. And again, it rallied into close, okay? And so plays that were down significantly, some even finished the day up on the day. However, depending on how you chose to play it, there were same points and times that those same exact plays we're down substantially, guys. That's a lesson that I want to make sure that we all are paying attention to and that I'll continue to kind of touch on throughout this journey together. And this is why I often say, don't overstay your welcome, okay? In some cases, you guys could have did puts in the morning and then you could have did calls for this afternoon. Okay, guys, it's okay to do that. There's no rhyme or reason that's telling you you can't do x or you can't do y okay if you did puts it's okay make your money on the way down and then if you see you know what the market been going down all morning here it is 12 noon and now the market want to wake up and start going back up it's okay to do a call that is what i mean when i say guys make money in both directions but listen guys i want to talk to you guys today not only about twitter and what i need you guys to be on the lookout for as it relates to that but the impact that it will have on the overall market temporarily okay listen guys you remember buy the rumor sell the news check it out and this is why i want the family to have caution when you go about this play okay yes go make your money everybody that hit me up about twitter today do your thing okay but remember when the dust settle when elon musk gets the money gets the bank loan and the clearance to make it official official meaning he showed that he got the capital the equity to go through and pull the trigger when it's a done deal look for that stock after it hits 54 wherever it's going to go to look for that stock to come back down it might even time it for earnings so be on the lookout for when twitter report this week and then subsequently the stock falls right with it okay again make your money but be thinking wise okay and then you guys gotta also make sure you're managing your risk okay yep these plays are largely driven by news okay these call these are what we call headline stocks okay so again ain't nothing sexy about twitter ain't no reason twitter should be up but the fact that elon musk is in it the fact that elon musk has bought the company or got the deal to go through or at least the board approval that stock went up on that news but guess what's gonna happen guys they gave us a little bit of taste to end out the day with a little rally they may carry it temporarily over to the morning, but they're going to sell the news only to bring the stocks back down to where they were and lower to begin the day off today. So just be on the lookout for that, guys, as you go through and out there the journey on today. Matter of fact, speaking of that, I want to highlight that, again, this is earnings week. We will have a jam-packed week in terms of some of the bigger companies presenting and reporting and as a result guys we're going to see a lot of volatility you might even see things like today the market being down the first half of the day and then the market being up the second half of the day or it could be vice versa the market can be up during the first half of the day and running 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 like there's no end in sight and then come down 
to second half of the day or a market sell off at the end of the day. I am going to make sure around here we're prepared for it all, okay? So please do me that favor. Understand the magnitude of the week that's ahead and understand that there will be a lot of volatility involved, okay? With that being said, though, guys, I want to talk to you next about our word of the day. And our word of the day is gap up. Listen, guys, in the stock market, you will have stocks that will gap up. And a gap up is simply put a stock that closed at one price say a stock closed at 19 dollars, but then on the very next day it opened at above the high of the previous day so stock the stock closed at 19 dollars, but the high of the day was 1920 and then the very next day the stock opened at 20 dollars. okay that's an 80 cent difference but that's a gap up okay that is a gap up and the same can be true for a gap down okay a stock might close the low of the day might have been nineteen dollars and thirty cent and the stock opened lower so the stock came in at nineteen dollars and five cent okay it opened lower than the low of the previous day that will be considered a gap down be mindful of that because if you're trying to do options sometimes i get the question Chris, the price is already below the strike price. You're just simply dealing with a gap up or a gap down, depending on whether you're doing a call or a put, okay? But with that being said, guys, nothing changes. You're just already getting a head start to the downward momentum, but just be on the lookout because it may be closer to hitting support and it might reverse and go up higher, okay? Sometimes it might break through support and continue to plummet down further like we saw last Friday. Same could be true for a gap to the upside. It might already be up when the market starts and it may continue higher throughout the early part of the morning. Or it may hit resistance and then boom, the gap up already had it close to a, say a 200 day moving average and then boom, it gets smacked back down. So do me a favor guys, put this word in your Rolodex, gap up as well as gap down. That is a real thing, be on the lookout for it embrace it when you see it like man this stock was at this price when we talked about it last night now it's at this price today when the market open or tomorrow when the market is open that's just nothing more than a gap up okay especially if it's higher or lower than a previous day high or low factor that in add that to your list of lingo and make sure you guys you want to look out for that listen guys we are going to have another phenomenal week guys got to stay the course and make sure that you are watching everything that's happening in the market as well as the news around you because all of it plays a factor in how your players will perform the markets rally into close but it's only a setup for them to sell the news okay don't be fooled by what you've seen today we're still in a bearish sentiment market we're still in a downtrend overall don't don't be fooled by the little sprinkles of pops you may get. Embrace them, make money off of them, but also understand the bigger picture, the macro picture, that these things will still go down in the long run, okay? At least for now. Listen, guys, we make videos like this every day, so if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock. Use my link below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.